did you guys see that free trade has put itself up for sale? Has reportedly put itself up for sale? And do you have a thought on that? I thought it was a strange time for them to be selling themselves. Um, I thought, you know, putting yourself up for sale is better done when things are selling for high prices rather than when we're all looking back at a time when things are selling for high prices. Maybe there's something going on at Free Trade that I don't know about. I don't follow them very closely sort of behind the scenes or anything like that. But that was my kind of initial reaction when I first heard this. And then I didn't look any closer because I'm unlikely to be a buyer for them. Yeah, and that that was the same thing. I, I mean, I I saw the article that came out, and and they were saying that they, were, you know, they reported six hundred and forty seven percent revenue growth in the year, and and you look at it and you think, well, it's raised from one point seven million to twelve point seven million. That's <laughs> that's a small number, and and also a very small number. And the losses actually grew from nine point five million to eighteen point two million. So they've lost more than they've revenued by. By creating revenue by by almost fifty percent, so you would assume the issue here is that they they're kind of sick of going to the well and they can't they can't crowdfund for the thirtieth time. That would just be ridiculous. So at some point you've <laughs> got to realise you're not very good at generating revenue, and perhaps if someone's going to give you two, three, four hundred million for the company, then you'd be you would be wise to take it before it before it becomes nothing. Hmm. Has anyone notified Elon Musk about this? <laughs> yeah bring uh bring trading free freedom to trading across the world mm. uh, would be the main, would be the way um I, i'd be interested to know the Britta. dates <laughs> <laughs> i'd be i'd be interested to know the dates of those uh numbers that you've given out because obviously there's a very good time and a very bad time and i think that's a point that i'm going to make in my video is that trading two on two's accounts got to december 2021 which is a very key pivotal point in our investor sentiment. And uh, Robinhood started its downfall in August of 2021. So three months before the big old change in the markets. So I think uh, Trading 212 increased their earnings from 13, as, yeah, their, their, their bottom line profit from 13 million to about 72 million, which is a big old bump. And that was but that's in a good time and we have to stress that's in a very very good time that is almost certainly going to be uh worse next year i i i'd probably put money on that but there's still no sign of them needing extra funding rounds and things like that and I, i've always wondered that about free traders why they need to go to the the investment so much and uh, i think it's getting pretty obvious from that that uh, it's uh, it's not going well, and it feels like they're trying to dump it off. What? Why would you? Why would you try and sell it now in a negative market, in, in a negative sentiment environment? Is it based on probably? Is it based on the probably fact because that, they're running out of cash? Yeah. It must be that they're running out of cash. They realise they can't go to the well again. They realise that this cash runway is, is obviously not going to last as long as they hope. They've just had to sack fifteen percent of the staff. Mm. Um, because uh, they're, they're looking to cut the, the, the cash runway. And the big problem is uh, free trade, and it's been this way for a very long time, is that they spent a really, really long time building their own platform and their own connections to things, and they've yet to prove that that was a worthwhile thing to do. Do you know what I mean? Like trading 212 is built off Interactive Brokers API and has way more features than free trade has. Uh, free trade has what they call a, a better back end, perhaps, because it's all built themselves. But if you're not, if you're not churning out the revenue and you're not proving to anybody that was worthwhile doing, you might as well build off uh, Interactive Brokers API and you get a, a ready-made, off-the-shelf brokerage that you can then start to tweak and you know, and, and work how you want. So, yeah, I'm afraid I've long been a critic of free trade, so it won't be surprising for you guys to hear that I I hope it doesn't sell and I hope it goes bust. But, link, in, um, link in the description below to Steve D's free trade account there. <laughs> You won't get my free trade account. No, you have to, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's right, been though, in a thousand years. You can, um... yeah, yeah. You can have it in 999 years. I'll give you it. I think it's a good idea to disclose a bit of Steve D's bias there in that he doesn't like free trade. I, I think you should have gathered that. But it's it's not, uh, I would personally hit, say, hit, say right here, that isn't a support of trading to one to. None of us have got, like, none of us are behind a broker we're just behind the one we think is the best at the moment and uh it's i, I just want to be clear on that because 
it can seem that could seem quite unfair what you just said there. Well, I'm Does still a shareholder in Free Trade. Just Are so, you? Just I thought so you sold it. Yeah, I yeah well, I accidentally I found out the other day that I didn't sell four of the shares I own. So <laughs> technically, I'm still a shareholder. That's uh, that's like that's over ten percent of the of the uh, company, isn't it? At the moment, it'd still be worth nothing. What's the opposite <laughs> of talking your own book? <laughs> Well, yeah. Um, well, if if it's worth nothing, if it's not worth something now, it will be worth nothing after what you just said. So bye bye to the bye bye to those shares, I guess.